Let's see if we can solve this slightly complicated linear inequality. Now, if you remember, the way we solve an inequality is exactly the same steps as if it were a linear equation with one, one small difference. If at any point we ever have to multiply or divide by a negative number, we'll have to remember to take the inequality and flip it around to face the other direction. So if this were an equation, I know the first thing I would do, I would try to get rid of this uh, fraction here, this divided by four. And the way we would do that would be to multiply the left-hand side and the right-hand side equation both by four. And what that'll do is that'll get rid of that fraction and it, it won't mess up anything else. It won't create any additional fractions or anything like that. So let's distribute four on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side. So if we multiply four on the left-hand side, these fours will cancel and you would get negative parentheses x minus two and then distribute the four also to the three, we would get plus 12 is less than, strictly less than, 4x plus four. And notice I did not have to flip this inequality around because I multiplied both sides by a positive value. So what I did there was fine. Now notice what, what happened is this new inequality does not have a fraction anymore. That's great news. So let's keep going as we typically would. Uh, next thing I think I would do is distribute this negative here to get rid of that uh, distributive property there. And we'd have negative x plus two plus 12 is strictly less than four x plus four. And then we'll move the x's to one side and move the constants to the other. It doesn't really matter which side we move everything to. Um, I think I, what I would probably do would be to m add x to both sides, which will get rid of this minus x plus x, and 12 and two make 14, and you get 14 is less than five x plus four, because we added x to the right-hand side as well. We'll subtract four over to the left-hand side and we get 10 is strictly less than 5x. Then we'll divide by the variable's coefficient, which is five. So we'll divide by five. Again, I do not have to flip the inequality around because we're dividing by a positive number. And so we would get the inequality two is less than x, which if we wanted to write that in the other direction, we could say, x is greater than 2. That's the same thing. 2 being less than x is equivalent to x being greater than 2. So this would be our solution to this inequality. Now the last thing I want to do in, th in this video is let's practice writing this solution a number of different ways because you'll find in the homework and on your test that you'll be asked to express this solution to an inequality on number lines, with like shaded uh, points on the number line or an interval notation with the brackets or the parentheses or things like that. So our inequality way of expressing the answer would be all the x's strictly greater than two. So I, I'll, I'll test you in this. Take any x bigger than two, three or four or 10 or 100 and try plugging it in the original inequality you know, before anything was written and see if it makes the left hand side really be less than the right hand side and I bet that it will. All right, now that's not the only way to express all those answers though. Next let's try to draw that on a number line. So here's zero and then we'll have one and two and I want to express all the x's strictly greater than two. So what I'll do is I'll put an open circle at two and then I'll shade everything to the right of two. Now, why did I do an open circle as opposed to a closed dot? Well, if you look back at your inequality, these are all the x's strictly, this is a strict inequality, strictly greater than two. So 2.1 is fine, 2.2 is fine, 2.00005 is fine, but if you get to two exactly, 
2 is not strictly greater than 2. So because we can approach right up, right up beside 2 but not equal to, we'll do an open circle and then shade to the right. So this is an alternate way of expressing these solutions. And then lastly, let's write this in interval notation. The interval is from 2 to infinity. You notice it goes all the way to the right hand side and infinity always gets a parentheses. Now the two on the other hand, because we can't exactly be at two, we can get right up, up to but not equal to, this would require a parentheses as well. If this happened to have been greater than or equal to two, then I would have done a closed dot and this would have been a bracket instead of a parentheses but nevertheless that's not what we had so anyway this is a good good practice example solving a linear inequality